you know what? JT, a week ago in Pottstown, they said there's no way that JT Cage would ever align himself or even think about aligning with someone of my caliber, the original hat guy. Well, guess what happened? We fooled them all, brother. We fooled them all from Dino Santa all the way down to those peon fans. Do we care? <laughs> no way. No. no. But you know what? I'm happy. I am ecstatic. James Brickhouse is probably a little upset because he take he keeps making uh, fun of my age and has these things on Facebook about my age and stuff like that. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something, James Brickhouse. August 30th, I'll be 56. It's all on age. It's nothing to me. In fact, the older I get, the little more meaner I get, the more sadistic thoughts that come to my head. Oh, yeah. So, if you, if you don't like it, tough. That's life. JT and I are a unit. <coughs> Along with Slayer, I'm going to build this arsenal. And that's what we're calling it, the Slayer's arsenal. Not here. He's not, he's not no, Slayer's not here. He cannot. He's... He's being taken care of in a psychiatric facility as we speak. But, hey, the arsenal is only going to get bigger. In a couple months, eh, there might be a couple new members. I'm not going to go into that at this time. But, hey, January 2020, original hat guy, JT Cage, Slayer, and maybe a couple of new people. We're going to rule Triple WA. Tell them, my man. First of all, James Brickhouse, you were just a pawn in this whole thing. We had this whole thing set up days ago. Yeah, well, did I have some reservations about it? Of course I did. But all in all, this man right here said I got potential. And that's what it comes down to. From day one, all I wanted was everyone's respect. From the people in the back to Dino Santa himself, and they couldn't give that to me. But this man said, I got potential. And together, we're going to take over Triple WA. Now, you're talking about you got a 3WA Extreme Championship. And we're having the tournament for that. You know, <laughs> you might be a little salty about what I did. You might be a little salty that we embarrassed you. Embarrassed the whole company. And that's fine. You want to take me out of the tournament as punishment? I can't blame you for that, but just know at some point that title is going to be mine. And who else better knows more about Extreme than the original actor? You know what I mean? Hey, brothers, didn't want to interrupt for a second. I think we're getting a little low here. Yeah, we are. Like, what, what is this? Hey, Frankie, my main man, my main man. Can we have two more over here on this table? But my brother. Where I was, then we would have had our beers by now, but now we're sitting here. It's okay, we're doing fine. Frankie, you know what? You're a credit to this place. The best go. bartender this place has ever had. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't know how you do this with the shades on in the worst case. I can't oh. see. I can't see. I, you got to get used to it, man. Yeah, we gotta, you got to get used to it. I don't like showing my eyes to everybody. Well, I want people to see what I got to say. Because so next Saturday, we're going to be in Quaker Town. The site of the Quaker Town Massacre. The last time I went there, I got beat down by Pure Revolution. This time, people need to be worried about getting beat down by me. Because I really don't care anymore. I give zero of these days. So, you know, whatever you got in store for me, whatever you got in store for the original hat guy, bring it. Trust me, we got a lot to bring too. And we really don't care. But you know what? Now it's time to celebrate. The original hat guy. Put these things back on. The original hat guy. J. T. Cage. The future of the Triple W. And we are a cohesive unit, baby. Bang. And Slayer. And Slayer. Peace out.